Welcome back. Today we'll be addressing the Quervin syndrome and the first thing we're going to go through is a basic massage at the thinner eminence of the thumb joint. Because of the fact that we use the flexor muscles all day long and gripping and squeezing, the thumb joint gets much more stressed than any of the fingers. And so what happens is the thenar group here, the flexor and adductor muscles of the thumb joint become very tight, hypertonic, restrictive, and it pulls the joint out of balance, causing a lot of pain because the extensor group stabilizes it, starts to get micro tears at the insertion point at the base MP joint, and you get a lot of pain and dysfunction around the thumb joint. To release the tensile strain or the strain of these muscles trying to hold it in place, you need to relax this main flexor adductor group of the thumb joint. You can do that by taking your opposing hand and rubbing your thumb just into the thickness of the muscle. You can do self-massage. I recommend working in here from three to five minutes. Going in here, just different angles. You can have somebody do it for you if you like. I take my opposing hand, sometimes taking my knuckle here, and just massaging in that thumb joint and working it all the way through. Over up here on the joint, again, making it go all the way down to the webbing between the thumb and the index finger. If you want, you can find different things, massage tools to push on it. Very, very um, tight and painful. You'll feel a lot of trigger points in this area. So once you do the self-massage, get it relaxed. You can also put some heat on it for a few minutes beforehand, massage it, and then you will follow it up with stretches and then exercises. That's your best sequence for treatment of Dequervin syndrome. We do so much gripping, flexing all day long. Everything involves the use of the thumb. Think of like if you picked up a board, the four fingers go on one side, the thumb goes on the opposing side. So what happens is that you have the weight distributed between the four fingers and then one thumb. There's a lot of stress to the thumb joint. So what happens is the thinner eminence, the group that adducts and flexes the thumb, becomes so thick and large and short and tight that what happens is it puts a lot of stress here on the posterior side um, of the MP joint causes a lot of stress and problems here and pain and dysfunction. So what we want to do here is we want to stretch the thenar eminence, flexor group, adductor group of the thumb joint and strengthen this posterior portion of the, of the thumb joint. So what we do here is taking the thumb, just with the opposing hand, stretching it backwards in this position, holding for 12 to 15 seconds. You're going to do that stretch three times. The next stretch is just in that palm up position, grabbing underneath here and stretching the thumb back. And you're going to hold that for 12 to 15 seconds and again do it for three sets. This helps lengthen the thinner eminence. This group also ties into the carpal tunnel. This is really important too as well. A lot of people have thumb dysfunction, pain in this joint preceding the onset of carpal tunnel syndrome as the thinner eminence ties into the carpal ligament. It actually goes across and bases itself in the pesiform here. Um, and so what happens is that it, the median nerve lies closer to the thumb side of the joint here, compresses that, pulls across and causes compression over the carpal ligament and then of course over the median nerve and the flexor tendons. So in, in regards to this, you stretch this muscle out here, the thenar eminence, you made it longer. So now what we need to do, once you make it longer, you need to actually strengthen the opposing joint so that way you have close to equal pull around that joint. When you have equal pull, there isn't uh, compression on one side and a, and a tensile strain on the other side as these muscles try to hold it in its correct position. You can just go ahead and do the palm up isolated movement here. What I'm going to do is extending my wrist and fingers. This right here is promoting extension and abduction of the thumb joint. Neck exercise in the thumb up position. Again, I'm holding onto the bands, the inside of the forearm, extending my wrist and fingers. You want to make sure that thumb joint, you kind of go into a semi-flexed position, extending the wrists and fingers and spreading them apart back and forth. I don't want to sit here and camp out, clear back here and just hold it. I want to actually move into from flexion to extension, repeated, performing the number of sets and repetitions that are required in the program. The next exercise that I want to perform is radial deviation. 
This is kind of a, you're going to bring the band underneath the elbow here. I'm extending my wrist and the finger and cocking the wrist joint upward. This puts a lot of tension on the thumb joint um, into abduction and extension of that joint. I'm cocking the wrist upwards. And it's not like I get a whole lot of movement there, but that motion right there will really help strengthen that joint, take compression off and pain um, off this posterior portion of the joint. The reason we have pain back here, a lot of people think they might want to need to strengthen the front side, and why am I strengthening this side? This is the side that hurts. When you have a group of muscles here that's extremely tight, it's pulling the thumb joint down into flexion and adduction. What happens is this group of muscles, once again, is trying to counteract and pull the thumb joint back into its normal position. It's always under a tensile strain, always being pulled upon. So what happens is you start getting micro tears in here, irritation at the insertion points, and inflammation, and everything else that result. By strengthening it, it actually brings it back into its position, takes off the tensile strain, um, and returns it to its normal uh, anatomical functional position in, in a pain-free state. Uh, the next exercise we're going to perform here um, is we are going to do a supination exercise here. This again puts a lot of stress and strain directly to the, to the thumb joint. I'm underneath the elbow now in a palm down position, rotating, turning back up into a palm up position. Rotating over as far as I can. The final exercise is a single finger exercise. I want to put stress directly to the thumb joint. I can take this band here. I just loosen it a little bit. There's a kit that you can actually get that goes with this um, that makes it so you can actually just hook from here to the wrist and just do your thumb exercises real simply and easy and then click back out. It's called the TFT kit. Um, I don't have one here with me today, but you can also use the band if you want. Hold it here and just do a single finger extension exercises. I'm going to cross the wrist so I'm doing more duction with extension. I can go straight down here so it's more just extension at that MP joint and you can change the various positions. Uh, stay healthy, do your exercises, and uh, enjoy being pain-free.